Right, guys, I am back in Bournemouth. So I've decided to take a bit of time off from work. Uh, basically, haven't taken any time off yet this year, like two to three days. So I just felt like I'm just feeling a bit knackered now and uh, I need just a bit of time for some R&R. &R. So I've come back home. Um, my parents have gone away on holidays, my dad's birthday week. So they've gone, on, uh, gone to Italy uh, to look around a few properties. So I'm back here looking after the dogs, enjoying the sunshine. You can see them sat in the conservatory. Absolutely glorious day behind me. Um, you can come and say hello to the dogs. Daddy, say hello. Say hello. Daddy. Not bothered. Not bothered. Shorty, Shorty, you can say hello. Hello. No, nope. oh god, no, no. She, yeah, she's still a little bit nervous with me. She hasn't seen me much before. But anyway, so we're about to head to the gym. Um, so it's leg day, um, so I'm glad for punishment. I've just joined up at a gym that I used to be a member of when I lived here before. Um, oh, now you want to come say hello, do you? Now you want to come say hello. Yeah, yeah, no, no, gone away again. Don't like the camera. Um, anyway, it's a gym I used to be a member of before, and um, it's okay, it's fairly basic, it's just a budget gym. Uh, dumbbells don't go up particularly high. Um, but I'm going to hit legs today. Um, one thing I do really like is it's right in the middle of town. gets a lot of sunlight coming in. Uh, and being in Bournemouth, obviously, it's a lovely place in the middle of summer. So um, that's the plan. Go and go and hit legs. Do some, uh, get a lot of volume in, uh, especially on the squat and deadlift. Uh, really want to start working on my lower back as well, my lower back strength. Try and really push my, uh, my deadlift. Uh, it's a better place than it has been in you know recent months. I'm still trying to work on my form and make sure that's... Uh, better than it has been um, so yeah that's the game plan and um, I'll probably pick it up with you guys when I get to the gym I just noticed got the world's biggest spot just above a moustache uh, yeah. lovely I don't bump into too many people I haven't seen for a while, but hello, good to see you, it's been a while. Um, yeah, have you met my little friend here? <laughs> yeah, he's uh, also very happy to see you, pulsating at you. Um, so yeah, giving it, a, uh, giving it a pop, and now I've just made it really angry. So yeah, the struggles of acne. What's your professional opinion of that, Scott Mill, Sebastian? Professional Gant? opinion, I think I think you did Sebastian proud, definitely. Right. Yeah, kudos to him. <laughs> See, I am. I can't believe this. This is amazing. I'm speaking to a mermaid. Uh, Grace, thank you so much for playing. What a way to make a living today. No worries at all. Thank you for having me. I know you're working today. I am. Yes, I am working today. <laughs> So guys, you can feel the peace and quiet of where I am, and that's because it's very, very busy in Bournemouth, and I had nowhere to park. So I'm parked well out of, well, I say well out of, probably about a 10 minute walk away from the gym now. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely heaving. Obviously every man and his dog wants to get to the gym. Uh, I guess, get to the gym. That's just me. <laughs> Go down to the beach and enjoy the sunshine. Um, so yeah, so I've had to park a little way away, but on the way to the gym now, and to be honest, it's such a nice day, I'm quite happy to just have the little stroll through, um, through Bournemouth, see what's going on, I haven't been here for a while, so um, I'll pick up with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Escaping your arms 
doing like they on a sunny Sunday. The symbol is not one other person wants to do this. Great news for me, there's only one squat rack in the entire gym, as you can see. So yeah, if you're gonna do if you're gonna do legs, make sure it's on a day when no one else is gonna bother. Because the only people that are in the gym today, well most guys have probably skipped the gym anyway because it's sunny and we live on the beach. Second thing is if you do come to the gym, everyone's probably just gonna come, get their vanity pump on and hit the beach. So definitely gonna be an upper body day. So uh, yeah. Taking it seriously, wait for a sunny day when everyone's gonna wanna hit the beach or be out in town with their shirts off. That's your leg day. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Love a good steep hill after a, an intense leg workout. Yeah, my legs are burning. Um, God, just want to get home, a good hot shower, and sit in the sun. Right, guys, so we made it back to the car, and um, my legs are burning, really burning. So, a couple of those exercises I did in there, um, I don't normally do, uh, especially like the Superman one, <laughs> the hamstring curl. Um, that one really, really got my, um, my hamstrings burning. Um, it's why it's good to mix it up. I mean, I got into a place the last sort of few months where I've been pretty much doing the same thing uh, for every single leg workout twice a week. Uh, your muscles get used to it, so it's good to mix it up. Um, in the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, you have to confuse the muscle. You know, the muscle gets you basically. <laughs> the muscle gets used to. Um, to what you do um, and gets very very proficient at doing what it needs to do but if you confuse it you do something different that's where you see the biggest benefits that's where you get start to push through those plateaus and make really really big gains um, so yeah good session overall um, just on my way around as well um, I stopped at my favorite independent clothing retailer Richmond Classics bag there so I just picked myself up actually a pair of shoes I've been looking for for absolutely ages these were going to be my summer shoes I knew exactly what it was I was looking for and I finally found them but I found them for 30 quid in their sale um, which I'm dead chuffed about because they're leather uh, basically sorry if I can get one of them out so they're leather um, by Lux Loafers um, orange drivers, driving moccasins, and I think I'm going to probably wear them with absolutely everything this summer. So yeah, dead chuffed with that, um, heavily marked down as well for a summer shoe. So um, yeah, overall a good couple of hours. Now I'm just going to go home, enjoy the sun, lie in the garden, and do not a lot else but eat and listen to music. So I'll catch up with you all next time. Um, I'm going to try and do some as well, just so you know, I'm going to try and do some more informational videos. So uh, a couple that I've got on 
on the books for me to do or in my calendar to do in the next few weeks are um, one about breaking through plateaus which is something I can talk about through experience um, being someone who's been working out now for consistently for about five or six years um, you always have plateaus and um, so I just wanted to give a bit of advice about um, how to break through them and then also the other one is um, what I would call like the gains graph basically what you can expect to gain in muscle um, over time so um, yeah I shall pick it up with you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, your views, your likes, everything really means a lot to me. Um, I mean, I'll do it for, even if no one was watching it. You know, this is just something I, I enjoy doing. I enjoy editing uh, the videos. And um, yeah, if it gets views, you know, that's an absolute bonus. So um, anyway, I'll stop rambling now and um, I'll see you all next time.